Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl, Miss Eye Candy, and I'm sitting at my desk um, getting ready for Late Night with Latifah, and I just got finished watching Couples Therapy, the actual second episode of the season, Couples Therapy. And at first, I wasn't going to um, really watch this show, but on last week's um, show, I Can't After Dark, Bucks and the Go-To Girl was telling me, oh, you got to watch, you got to watch it, because DMX is crazy. So... I watched it today, and I caught up on, I watched the episode, the first episode, and then I watched the new one today, and um, first, let me give you guys, like, the rundown. For those that aren't watching it, they haven't, you know, got into it or heard about it, Couples Therapy is a show on VH1, and it comes on Wednesdays at uh, 9 Eastern Standard Time, and the couples that are on there, it's um, uh, Hawk Hogan's ex-wife and her boyfriend, um, some chef guy and his girlfriend and some other couple, I don't know who they are. And then it's the gay couple from the A-list and then it's DMX and his wife. DMX and his wife are the ones that I'm watching it for because they're the ones I know who they are. <laughs> and also they just still in the show or whatever. But they're still in the show because DMX is nuts. DMX is nuts. Like, y'all, he is crazy. Um, last week... He was going in on his ex-wife saying, or his wife, or ex-wife, I don't know what they are, separated, married, divorced, I don't know, I think they're separated, I don't know, but he was talking about how he just like coaching, <laughs> that's what he likes, he likes to get it in, that's just what he likes to do, and he gonna do that, until it fall off, he gonna always do that, or whatever, but he loves his wife, this is his best friend, and honestly, I think DMX just feels like this something that she just gotta deal with. It's going to always be how it is. It's who he is. Accept him for who he is and move on with it. But, um, and I'm going to talk about that in a second. But I think this show is really confirming that something is wrong with DMX. Something is really, really wrong with that man. Not the fact that he owns some stuff, which, of course, we you know, that's been in the media forever. So that's, like, not a surprise that he's on some stuff. But he, or he bipolar, sick, mental problems. Like, something is really wrong with DMX. I thought the whole dog thing was, like, a, a gimmick, you know? Like, something to sell music, your, who you are, your little star personality, you know, because he's a, uh, uh, that's DMX. He'll do that bark on his songs. Um, but he's like that in real life. Like, he hasn't barked yet. I'm, I sh I'm sure this season, we're going to see him bark before the season's over. But the way he talks, you know, like, to people, whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he is. Something wrong with that man. Something's wrong with DMX. <laughs> Number one. Um, today, uh, DMX was having a little a little conference with the therapist, and they were talking about, um, you know, the, the, their situation, how um, he hurt her. She even broke down crying, how the, the hardest time for them was when he got somebody pregnant. And it was all over the media. I'm sure that when you're, you know, dating someone in the industry and your business being broadcasted, it already hurts. But now the whole world knows. So now you got them looking stupid to everybody in the world on top of it. So I know it has to hurt. But um, DMX, he kind of wants to ignore, act like stuff ain't happening, not really own up to what he's doing. And then he just kind of want to be accepted and it's going to be okay. You know what I'm saying? He wants the best of both worlds. He's hurting this woman. They've been together. Well, they've known each other since they were 11 in elementary school. They love each other. And I, I am one that will tell you all the time. I said all the time on my radio show. I said all the time on the web series. I said all the time in my newsletter. I always said you cannot control who you love. Who you love is who you love and it is what it is. So I know because I have been in love with somebody that treated me like crap. And I couldn't change, that didn't change the fact that I love them. You know, as horrible as they treated you, as horrible as they make you feel, you still love them. You can't control that. So I definitely understand where his wife is coming from with this. She loves this man. She's loved him for so long. That's her best friend. That's who she wants to be with. But this dude just doesn't want to return the love the same way. And he, he, kind of, he wants it, though. He likes it like that. He likes the fact that he gets everything from her, but he's not giving her everything in return. Like... Dude is crazy. <laughs> Dude is crazy. So y'all have to go check out Couples Therapy because DMX is nuts. He Today he was walking out. They were trying to have a meet and then he didn't want to go. He's sleeping. I ain't, ain't signed up for this. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> like he crazy. Dude is nuts. I personally could not be with him. 
Um, Miss Mocha, who's on the new show Candy Bar, and I came to radio. Make sure I Google it. She commented on my Facebook status because I said DMX is nuts. And she said, yes, but she loves him. You can't control your love. That's true. You can't control who you love, but you can control your reaction to it. You can control how you deal with it. I can love you with all my heart. And 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 seriously, in my heart, heart, I know I want to be with you. I know there's nobody else for me. Or if I'm with them, it's not going to be that same love. But like Tina told Ike, what's love got to do with it? I couldn't deal with DMX. I could not do it. He... No, I couldn't do it. He's embarrassing, <laughs> number one. I can't take somebody out in public that's barking at people and growling and can't control himself. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could see he was alcoholic on there. He was talking about drugs on there. So, no, he's still on that kind of stuff. Number one, you know, I don't do drugs. Just say no with Miss Eye Candy. So, I couldn't do that anyway. But if he wasn't drunk and he wasn't on drugs or whatever, and that's not the case, the fact that he thinks it's okay it's acceptable. I should accept this. And I'm not you're not gonna change. You're not gonna try to change. It ain't even in your vision to fix this that you're gonna just constantly cheat. That's what you do. You're gonna constantly cheat. He said, you know, he loves eggs. He said that's that was his example. I love eggs. I love scrambled eggs, you know, boiled eggs, eggs, benedicts, all this kind of stuff. But every now and then I want some cereal. And once I get my cereal, I got my love for my eggs again. No, this is not breakfast. This is a relationship. So, I'm going to need you to get it together, DMX. Seriously, I'm going to need you to get it together. How would you feel if she wanted cereal every now and then? See, that's my thing. Okay, if, if she going to stay with DMX, fine. Lay it out like this. I love you. We're going to be together. Let's have an open marriage. You do what you do. I do what I do. I promise you, he's going to start barking, growling, saliva going to come out. The dog is really going to come out because he's not going to deal with that. So, if you can't. Take it. Don't dish it. X, get your life right. Get off them drugs. Treat that woman right and let her go. She deserves so much better. I don't care how much you love her. You can love her until she dies. You're not treating her good. And she does not deserve your love. She deserves somebody's love that's going to treat her right. This show is crazy. I'm going to keep watching it because <laughs> it's entertaining. But DMX is nuts. And I, you heard that from me, Miss Eye Candy. Y'all, now check out Late Night with Latifah. See ya. Deuces.